According to the opposition leader, Dr. Gail Rigobert, she was elated to welcome the Russian diplomat. Dr. Rigobert says that given the configuration of the world economy and that of Russia, it is incumbent that new relationships develop and new opportunities for development are created. The ambassador has just advised that within a month, there will be 100 businessmen from Russia on the island. And I think that really offers a wonderful opportunity for investment and business partnership and I'm hoping that the private sector will capitalize on that opportunity because we are in dire need of, of some development partnership and foreign direct investment. I'm particularly excited about the opportunities for cultural exchange. I think what this proves is that globalization has really come to full fruition, that we are indeed one global village and it is important that we understand one another better deepen our relations and strengthen our synergies. Dr. Rigobert says she is hoping for further engagement. The Russian diplomat for his part extended an invitation to the government here to make more friends in his part of the world. With our friends uh, from Satusha, we will find uh, new uh, possibilities uh, to, uh, to make uh, very wonderful things together. And one of these possibilities will offer uh, us uh, the Russian business regatta, which will uh, start in one month, in four weeks, uh, here in Satusha. And I hope that it will be also a unique opportunity to, uh, to find uh, much more ways to each other. The Russian ambassador says that both Russia and St. Lucia have enjoyed cordial relationships for many years. The ambassador, who paid a courtesy call on the leader of the opposition on Friday, was accompanied by head of consular section, Mr. Andrei Draken. The opposition leader also held talks with the Swedish ambassador and a delegation of diplomats from Sweden. For the DBS News World, Alex Bousquet reporting.